and welcome to the second episode of Kate's Dinner Dates. Today I'm here with Lucy Lawler, our arts and life editor, and she has gone around the city of Columbus and picked out some local coffee shop finds, and I have no idea what we're trying today. This is true, it's a coffee date today, and I, along with the arts and life video producer Husna, went around the city to find Kate some drinks to sample because we will be testing her palette today. A lot of the places that we went to had new spring menus, so I'm excited to see you try those oh flavors. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Uh, we went to Honey Cup Coffee Co., The Roaming Goat, which Kate likes to call. I thought it was The Rambling Goat. The Rambling Goat. It's The Roaming Goat. <laughs> and we also went to One Line, and I've never been to Rambling Goat or One Line myself, so I'm also excited I've to try. I've only ever been to One Line out of mm. those three, and it's been a while, so yeah. I'm really excited. What, before we dive in, we'll do a little, a little coffee knowledge little test room. Okay. What is your like favorite, all-time favorite coffee? That is a great question. Um, I feel like I bounce around a few staples that I like to order. I really do like flat whites. I have one here from one line and I'm a big fan of lattes of any flavor, any variety, although I do prefer usually almond milk over any other. What about you? Um, I'm usually a latte girl. Um, I like coconut, caramel, honey, cinnamon lattes are my all-time favorite. Um, if anything's made with honey, I want it. Um, and I'm a regular milk girly. All right. Come at me, oat milk lovers, but I'm a, re I'm a regular milk girl. So, no shame do here. you want to try yours? Do you want to tell me what yours are, or do you? I feel like maybe we can start with Honey Cup because we did go there first. So this is what I got from Honeycup. It is one of their spring drinks. I believe it's an orange cream matcha. I'm so excited. That was a genuine reaction. I'm so oh excited. My God. And Kate, yours is it's, it's not this, this one. one. It's that one. Yeah. Okay. See, they they're, they're all one. identical. Oh my God. Wait, actually. Are you sure? Yes, it's that one because I was matching it to mine. Okay. So I just want to make sure. As you can see, I have a type of coffee that I prefer. I'm like, so excited to see if you can detect the Do you want me to? I'm going to smell first. Okay. We'll Aromatic test. test. Okay. okay. I don't have to smell one. My all-time favorite latte is from a place called Cavu in Cincinnati, and this smells like their honey cinnamon one. Okay. Well, let's dive in. First sip. Okay. <laughs> Oh, that's really good. <laughs> Wait, I can definitely taste the orange, but I do think that the matcha is still the primary flavor, which is what I would prefer, so I'm happy that that's the case. I'm stumped, Loki. Stumped. It's giving honey, but it's also giving like coconut, like a tad. Okay. So I feel like maybe it's an amalgamation of I will, flavors. I'll give you a hint. So just as like to the name of the drink. So it's one flavor plus five of something else. I don't think that's gonna help you necessarily. One flavor plus five of something Five else. of general variety of something. I don't know if that's gonna help you. Oh, like five pumps or five cream, kind of, sugar. You're getting warmer. Honey, getting warmer. You already ice. identified what the main flavor is supposed to honey. be. Honey. No. Coconut. Yes. Oh. Okay, okay. so I taste great. the coconut. It's coconut and five something. And I feel like the honey flavor that you're detecting could be sort of buried Agave? within those five things. Is it a sweetener? It's actually like a flavor. If you were to say sugar and cream, sugar and spice. Yes, cinnamon. Coconut and five spice. That is the flavor. Oh, mm -hmm. wait. I know. Crazy, right? Okay, I'm gonna rate them at the end. But that is really good, and it's not overly right. spicy because it didn't like throw me off. And I know you like coconut, so I was excited. Okay, so let's change directions then. How about we do roaming goat? So that's that one for you. Okay. It says spring. That's all it says. That's the only clue. It's part of the spring menu. And then mine is, I think it's called purple rain latte, and I believe it's blackberry and raspberry, but don't hold me to that. It could be something else, but that's just what I recall. So are you ready? Yes, yeah, Let's go. Wait. Ooh, I like this one too. This is so confusing. It tastes like flowers and fruit. Like it tastes like a mac like a fruity macaroon. Okay. 
I'm not surprised knowing the flavors. Wow. <laughs> I'm letting her cook. It's not lavender. I wouldn't know if it was lavender. Mm. It's like a. Wait, it's so good. I'm like. Now that you say it, mine definitely has lavender in it. I think mine is lavender blackberry, and I'm a huge fan because. Is it like strawberry, raspberry, blackberry, one of those? Am I For on yours? Track? Yeah. Peach? I think no. the main flavor you haven't said yet. Okay. Which makes orange. Me yes. It's orange. It's, that. Mm -hmm. it's really good, and I would never order an orange latte. I, I love it. I feel like the key with like bolder flavors like orange and lavender is to just have them in the right quantity, and I feel like they accomplish that. Yeah, that is so good. All right, I think there's. Do you want me to tell you what the other two flavors are in it? The other like. Is it like orange cream? Or just nah. orange. Orange vanilla. No, but something that you really like. Honey. Yes, orange honey, and there's one more, but I I think that's the third one's the toughest to guess. So it's not a typical flavor. No, I wouldn't say so. It's kind of an herb. Like something you Basil? might throw on top of a drink. Time. Time. Mint. Time. Yeah. You got See, it. I would never order. This is so fun because I would have never ordered that because I would have been scared of it. But it's mm. so good. Mm-hmm. All right. I think it's time for thirds. Are you ready? So for this one, I just got a flat white because like I said, I love them. And I felt like we needed a hot drink in the mix, even though the weather's getting warmer. But Kate, are you ready to go? Yeah, this is um, one line. One line. Yes. Sorry. Yes. should said that. But let's do it. Mm. That's good. This one's sweeter, mm -hmm. which is surprising because you'd think like orange would be super sweet. But this I one... will say this one is the simplest flavor slash flavors that we ordered for you today. Mm. <laughs> it tastes simple, but good. Mm -hmm. Like it's really only one thing. Is that this flat white is, is this just honey? It is! Yeah. Oh I know gosh. a honey latte when I taste a honey latte. How does it stack up to others that you've had in the past? Um, does it is it honey or honey cinnamon? Just honey. I think it's just honey. Mm. A nice simple flavor. I like it a lot because it like you can taste the sweetness of it, but you can tell it's not fake sugar, which is why I like the honey flavors, because you can add sweetener without it tasting like sweetener. Mm -hmm. Um I still have to pick my my OG hometown one because it has the cinnamon in it, which mm -hmm. I like. But this is definitely up there. I had a honey one in New York City last week, and this one's way better. Really? Yeah. Oh, you were yeah. here first. Columbus beat New York in something. I did. Wait, I gotta. Okay. My flat, I mean, my flat white. Flat white. <laughs> my flat white was lovely as usual. I feel like I'm kind of a person who has a hard time like detecting the differences between same drink orders from different places. Yeah. So for me, it was great, but you know what? If you have a more refined palate, you could detect some more difference. Wait, okay, I'm gonna rate. Okay, yeah. Okay, this I'll rate the coconut too. five spice. I don't know how to rate mine. I'm conflicted. Orange. Okay, I have my how final ranking. So while Kate's finalizing her choices, I'll talk about mine. I think I'm gonna go with the Purple Rain in first, just because I love a good lavender flavor when it's muted, and I feel like they nailed it. And then I will do the Orange Cream Matcha, just because it was so different, and I think the flavors actually blended really nicely together. And I will put my beloved Flat White in last, but through no fault of its own, it was just the simplest today. Um, I feel like I'm gonna throw you off with my rankings. It's okay. I'm gonna put the one I just had. The honey latte. Lovely. I just, it's simple and it works and it's just, you get, you know what you're getting. I love it. And then I'm gonna do, gonna do the orange um, thyme. Mm -hmm. And what was the third ingredient? Honey. Orange, orange honey, honey thyme. thyme. Second. And then I'm gonna put this one last because it has like, it's good, but it has a bit of like an aftertaste. I can't put my mm, finger on it. An undesirable aftertaste. Yeah, like I'll gladly drink it, but I don't think I would order this one again but I would order these two again, for sure. Yeah. I am ready to drink all of these throughout the day. I'm, None of this will day, go to waste. Our work day is gonna go so well. Our work day is long, and these are gonna help us out. But yeah, yeah I'm so happy that I could be here. Thank you for having it me, It was Kate. so fun. Um, yeah, this has been the second episode of Kate's Dinner Dates, or in this case, Kate's Coffee Dates, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye everyone.